Hi guys, this is Mr. V and this is the last episode of Unit 3 of the Apes Review videos and this one's going to be about demographic transition. So demographic transition is usually going to be a graph that looks similar to this and it's a historical model. And this model is going to show what phases or stages a country will go under or a nation will go under as it gets older, as it ages and progresses. So what this does is it tracks the general trends in birth rate, death rate, and the total population. So you can kind of see what that would look like. So let's take a look at another example here. So here's what a population would look like. A, a, a population tends to move from um, agriculture over to industrialization. Okay, so that's kind of the trend. And so in the first group, you're going to see that it's got a very high birth and death rate, that they're very, very um, you know, close to each other. And so as that happens, the population number is pretty low. Okay, so a population can stay down here. Um, and then as you move into stage two, that population is going to begin to increase because though the birth rate is still high, the death rate will drop. So you tend to have things like, um, you know, some children will be needed in the workforce over here in stage one, but stage two, that'll be less. Medical care will get better. Um, and so that number will begin to drop, whereas birth rate stays high. Then in stage three, you tend to have more of a slower expansion. So birth rate begins to drop and the death rate continues to drop until towards the end, they start to get very close to each other. The gap gets close again, but it's not as high as it used to be. It's not like stage one, it's going to be much lower. And then finally in stage four, they're very close again and our population has begun to stabilize. So it's more of like a carrying capacity level. Now, one thing I, I do wanna mention is there is a stage five, but for AP environmental science, that is not gonna be required of you to know. That would be if you're having to take human geography, that will be something you do need to remember. But for us, we pretty much top out at stage four, and that's where population will begin to decline a little bit. So that's gonna be kind of like your heavier populations over there, okay? So let's kind of look at how this ties in with some of the other stuff that we've learned most recently about um, human populations. So we start off with demographic transition, and the first phase is stage one, okay? So stage one, there's tend to be a lot of children in the workforce, mortality is very high for infants, um, and then there's gonna be very little growth, okay? And this is what we call the pre-industrial phase, right? So currently in the, United, in the world, there are no countries in the pre-industrial phase. We've all moved beyond that for the most part. And now they're in phase two, where medicine has improved, sanitation's gotten better, so has food. Um, there's gonna be a very high growth rate, and it's gonna be what we call the transitional phase. And then when you get to stage three, that's where you have a very high um, education level, low infant mortality, and growth starts to slow down, okay? Um, this is what we call the full-on industrial phase. And then finally, when we get to phase four, you get a high education, very low infant mortality, populations are starting to show up and might become a, uh, are, are, or start to get older and then begin, begin to become a tax burden, as we mentioned earlier. And so there tends to be zero growth or almost negative growth. Um, and then that's what we call the post-industrial phase. And that leads over to phase five, which as I mentioned, that's gonna be like an extreme where there's gonna be very negative growth. So um, that's something that we don't focus on as much in AP environmental, but would be looked at in other courses. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful and here's another little resource to help you out and uh, thank you very much.